Hello Commanders! Welcome back to the Command Table. I am Mathramar, and we are going to continue with our journey walkthrough. We're now on map 2 of the Soldiers' Encampment, which includes battles 101 through 110. So before we get to that, if you would please be so kind as to like, subscribe, and if you want notifications when I drop new videos, hit that notification bell. Also, if you have any comments, please feel free to leave those below. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Here we are at the Soldiers' Encampment Map 2. And we still have our previous setup. We don't have to worry about adding another army point. Okay, so we've got an Untamed Beast, a Mind Corruptor, two Earth Elementals, and an Ember Fiend. So let's take our Bombot, and I think... We had an issue last time we ran into an untamed beast, so let's go ahead and upgrade the one. We'll get rid of the other. And then what else have we got? We've got a mind corruptor, which is kind of a big deal. Oh, and sneaky sneaky, it's hard to see this, but you'll notice just above my little icon there, there's a frost rune. So my assassins may not be the best choice. Why don't we just remove them entirely? If we send them after that Ember Fiend in the back, they're just going to run into that Frost Rune next. So maybe what we'll do is we'll solve the Mind Corruptor problem with a Barrier Monk. And then... Okay, so the Untamed Beast is resolved. We should have the Barrier Monk resolved. Let's get rid of these Thorn Guards since there's no Assassins or Risen Warriors to worry about. Let's drop our Ranged Complement. And why don't we get some things that won't get knocked back very easily by a Earth Elemental. And we'll add our Drummer to help with that. Okay, so Drummer, we've got a couple of Shield Bearers, and looks like we've got three army points left. What else are we dealing with? Oh, that Frost Rune. Let's just, uh, let's throw in our dogs, because they're immune to Frost, so they'll be able to zip to the back and grab that Ember Fiend. And let's grab some ranged. Oh, okay, only got one of those. Oh, I've got tons of shards, though. Let's go ahead and grab another guy. Okay, doesn't hurt at all. Okay, I think we've filled up our army pretty good. So we've accounted for the Untamed Beast with the Bomb. We've accounted for the Mind Corruptor with our Barrier Monk. And we've accounted for the Earth Elementals with the Drummer and some very resilient units and some sustained DPS. And then the Hounds should be able to get to that Ember Fiend. Let's give it a go. Poof, goodbye Untamed Beast. That Mind Corruptor did nothing. And there go the Hounds to the back. And it's just a matter of grinding through the Earth Elementals. Very nice. Alright. So, let's move ahead. We now have... Oh, thank you, Ui. Needed those Drummer Shards. All right, Strange Allies. Okay, yeah, we've got some Chaos and Order units together. So, let's see. Do we really need to change much? And you've got uh, Plague Bearers in there. There's no Plague Throwers. Why don't we have a little bit of fun? Okay, we're going to align that. We're going to... Okay, we need a few army points to do what I'm thinking here. But let's remove... One of those, and... Okay, there... Oh, let me just confirm. Right, okay, there's no ranged units. So let's go ahead and get rid of the barrier, Monk. What else can we do here? Okay, that's three points. That's enough for me to do what I was thinking. We're going to grab our Paladin. Now, everybody should have one. He's only level one for me, but... Uh, I don't think we're going to need much more than that. But uh, we've got the Drummer and the Paladin with uh, some good steady melee and ranged units that'll stay nearby and we're going to resolve those thorn guards so the rest of it's just grinding through let's give this a go he's only level one 
but that should be enough to kind of keep everybody cranking for a while. You'll notice that hardly anything's taken any damage. That one shield bearer went down pretty quick. But yeah, pretty smooth. That resolved the plague issue. Not that it was a huge issue, but oh well. We'll go ahead and resolve it anyway. All right, we have your paladin, your death knight, a couple of archers, some warhounds, and two shield bearers. So what am I going to do here? I think I'm just going to leave my bomb right where it is. Let's uh, get those guys down there. Can we... Okay, um, I don't like having those two mythic units. They do kind of cancel each other out. I'm not sure how well they work with each other. So I'm not terribly concerned, but let's uh, take our level 1 Death Knight out. I'm going to... Yeah, let's, uh, let's see if we can just resolve both of those mythic units with one set of... Where am I? There we are. One set of assassins. Let's try to get a good vertical split. There we go. So let's see what we're working with now. If I just move my icon there and use my other finger to gauge where I want my assassins to be, that looks about right. Okay, now what else have we not accounted for? Honestly, I think we're going to be okay. Most of that front line is going to be resolved with that one bomb bot. Let's just roll with it and see how we do. Poof. Okay, two shield bearers left. And the assassins are attacking the death knight and the paladin from behind. Yeah, that went very smooth. And we're kind of up against units that are in my same level range. So we got to start being a little more cautious about how we go about things. Oh yeah, we got a level 8 Frost Wizard there. Okay, what are we going to do for this one? Lots of Frost Runes in the back. That's going to be problematic. I still think, you know, with a level 4 Catapult, I think it's still worth taking it out, even though those Assassins will probably run into a Frost Rune next. As long as that Catapult's gone, I don't have to worry about necessarily having a barrier monk although that's a lot of archers let's let's go ahead and do it i'm gonna switch out my drummer for a barrier monk there we go now what else do we want let's bring those no okay yeah let's bring the warhounds up and we'll put them here we'll move this bomb up to where it'll actually hit something. And we'll get the frost or frost wizard with my warhounds. Then oh, let's move the barrier monk up just to make sure that it doesn't freeze my bomb. That would be catastrophic. Grab another bomb for down here. Make sure it's lined up. And there we go. So that takes care of the front line. The warhounds will take care of the frost wizard. Uh, the assassins back here are going to take care of the catapult, and then the rest of the units should be able to take care of the archers, especially with the help of that barrier monk. Let's give it a go. Okay, there went the front line. There goes the frost wizard and the catapult. And now it's just a matter of cleaning up. Nice. Nice and smooth. All right, let's see what we've got here. Plague Throwers and Plague Bearers. And, oh, a level 6 Untamed Beast. Okay, uh, let's hope a level 5 bomb is enough to take it out. I wonder, uh, let's see how much. Takes out 7,000 health. I think we'll be okay. Let's uh, hope so. Um, what else are we going to do here? We have a bunch of Plague Throwers and Plague Bearers. So we could either block everything, or try to block everything, with the Barrier Monk, but I kind of want to get that Paladin back into the action. I know he's not, she is not uh, super stout, she's only level 1, but we don't have to worry about the Plague at all if we have her in there. Uh, how are my power stones doing on these? Let's see if I have anything I can throw on them. Oh, that's nice. Let's grab that. 
That should help speed things along. We've got damage on the other one. That's good. Just check and make sure everybody's good here because we're kind of getting a little more stiff competition here. All right, so the assassins will start... Oh, let's line those up. Start working on everything in the back. We've got... Let's do this trick here. What we'll do is we'll have one bomb hit it, and if it blows it up, great. If not, then the second bomb will finish off the job. And then if the Untamed Beast does blow up, then we'll just have the other bomb run through and blow up everything else. Uh, hopefully it won't get stunned by the plague throwers, but I think if they do shoot at it, that it'll be fine because it'll run forward and not get hit. Let's see how we do. Okay, first bomb did the trick. Second bomb cleared up a whole lot of plague bearers. Assassins took out everything in the back. Very smooth. You just you don't need a, the paladin to do a whole heck of a lot. She's mostly just there for glowing personality. Just to help you not have the plague vulnerability. Oh, okay. This one should be fun. Yeah, we've got arcane blades. They will uh, kind of teleport, or blink, I guess they call it. Uh, all over the place and it just kind of uh, turns everything into a mess you just everything's moving every which way trying to chase after them so what am I gonna do with this one? Oh, and these are soul pylons I'm not sure if we've had these before I don't recall seeing them but we might have um, yeah we did because I mentioned it before if there's any skulls in their little area so we did cover that so what we want to do is not put any skulls anywhere near these or kill them right away. I think what I'm going to do is uh, let's try to do a little bit of a strategic move here. We're going to leave our assassins right where they are because I think they're going to split. They're kind of aligned perfectly to split and grab both of those arcane archers. But what I want to do... So let's have him, the enemy, come to me. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. And let's grab the drummer. Because they're all melee units for the most part. Oh, passed it. There we go. Okay, so there's our drummer. And am I forgetting anything? You know, let's, uh, let's drop that. Uh, just because there's so many melee units, let's grab another set of shield bearers. Let's see if we got a power stone we can throw on there. Oh, yes, we do. Let's uh, do that. I'm liking it. Okay, let's see what we've got. Okay, so I've used up all my army points. We've made it to where this all these six units are going to have to come to me. The assassins should take care of anything in the back. And again, the race disappear right at the beginning of the battle. So even if both assassins go to one of these, the next closest thing is going to be the other arcane archer. So we shouldn't have to worry too much. And uh, once those are done, the assassins will run forward and kill the soul pylons, in theory. Yeah, uh, yeah that's, that's what I'm going with. All right, let's give it a go. Boom. Okay, there goes the Arcane Archers and the Soul Pylons, and now everything else is coming down to that bottom corner. And my Paladin and my uh, Battle Drummer are giving my units a ton of sustain. So, very, very pleased with how that went. We'll call that a, a very nice win. Ew. Ew. <laughs> okay. All right, we have two Mind Corruptors up front. We've got our Ancient Trees in the back with a couple sets of arch or yeah, a couple archers. And then these are Mind Shrooms and uh, Entangling Roots. So I guess the theory behind this one is that if you get to one tree, you're going to have to go through this mire of nastiness to get to the other one. So how are we going to solve that? I don't think my assassins are going to do me much good because uh, for whatever reason sometimes they'll get snagged by a tree even though they're invisible. Plus I'd have to spend two points just to take out one tree. So let's ditch those. Uh, I don't think my paladin's going to do me any good. Let's get rid of her. 
Uh, let's, uh, okay, let's, hold on, let me look at this again. Okay, the mine corruptors are there, so let's uh, use something that's immune to mine control. We'll grab these plague bearers, and we'll keep some range. Hey, we need more range than that. Let's grab our archers again. Okay, so my theory is we will lose most of my plague bearers if I started them on the front line because they'll march up to those um, mine corruptors and they'll probably end up in range of the tree and dying. So I'm going to move them back, force the mine corruptors to come to me. That only... Okay, the, here's the issue though. That's only going to insulate me on those plague bears. Everything else is going to be vulnerable. So let's ditch the shield bearers since the plague bears act as a sufficient front line. And let's protect everything else with a nice little barrier monk. Uh, do I need my drummer is the next question. There's not a lot of melee units, so I don't have to worry about him. Why don't we find something to help us clear the archers? Yeah, you know what? Who We haven't used in a while. Let's grab our Ember Fiend. And we got one point left. Do I have more archers? Oh, level one? No, let's uh, let's save the shards, and we'll get... Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, not a whole heck of a lot of damage on the Arcane Archer, especially with so few units on the field, but it might pick off... Oh, hey, I like that. If I put it right there, if it shoots through the Mine Corruptor, it'll take out some of the archers with each arrow. Let's uh, see how that does. Okay, so theory, we have... Everything that's uh, vulnerable to mind control within the bubble. We've got the two plague bears up front that are going to soak the damage from the archers and be able to take on the mind corruptors. And then we've got a good complement of ranged DPS to take out the trees because the plague bears aren't going to get much further past this line. Let's see how we do. All right, everything's still protected in the bubble. We got our plague bears moving forward. Yep, see, there they go. They're getting stuck in the tree roots. Oh, you know what I didn't do? <laughs> okay, maybe I'm going to need to just take those right off. I still have those corrupted aim power stones on my archers. So let that be a lesson to me and everybody else who's watching. Uh, you you got to... Uh, pay attention to your power stones. Fortunately, we had enough ranged units that it wasn't an issue. But uh, I'm thinking I'm just going to take them off now so I don't run into this problem again. So let's see if we have anything to replace it with. Reach and damage. Gosh. You know, I'm going to leave them on there. I'm probably going to regret it. But I just don't have enough power stones to really goof around. All right. Let's move on to the next one. We are on map 108. Ooh, okay. Two untamed beasts. Uh, well, let's see. Let's, uh, uh, okay. Plague bears do pretty decent because if they, you get plague on the beasts, but they can still get shredded. It's kind of a toss up on who would really get it. Let's, uh, let's ditch our ember fiend because these, um, crows, which are bats, are just going to be flying all over the place, so the ember fiend's not going to do me any good. What are we going to use? Oh, bombs, obviously. Let's get rid of those untamed beasts. At least hope we can, because uh, that's a level 4 bomb. Uh, let's hope it does the trick. Oh, you know it'll definitely do the trick. Don't have to worry about a barrier monk, because there's no range, so we can switch that out for a lovely... Thorn guard. So let's do that. Let's, uh, hmm, what else do we want to do? Okay, there's going to be a lot of stuns going on, and the hammer throwers don't have stun anymore, stun resistance. They used to back in the day. Let's, uh, oh, I was going to say let's put a group of shield bears, but why not two? Because I've got two. So that's going to do better against the crows. And then what else do we want? Okay, just in case that uh, 
one untamed beast on the bottom doesn't die on the bomb and the thorn guards which it should die on the thorn guards alone but just in case we're gonna get our drummer back that should keep everybody cranking and uh, it'll reduce the duration of the stun on the plague bears i think that's yeah I, I think i'm satisfied with that let's give it a go yeah didn't quite get him but first hit on those thorn guards and he was toast so yeah now it's just a matter of uh, waiting for the bats to drop close enough to hit them they can stun the plague bearers briefly but uh, that's reduced by the battle drummer and if the crows hit the thorn guards they die quickly that way too very very nice all right ew okay what are we doing now we've got some giant toads uh well there goes my bombs even if i tried to hit those monster hunters with the bombs the toads might snag them so that's kind of a waste of army points let's see what else we'd do better with uh oh okay notice uh monster hunters they don't have hardly any immunities anymore they used to be immune to almost everything they were like uh standalone eternal champion with a personal ranged immunity but uh now they just have that little personal shield so since they don't have resistances like they used to let's have a little fun we're gonna turn them around on their own giant toads <laughs> so let's do that let's put the again with these mine shrooms you want to make sure that that first shroom is right in line with whoever's going to run into it so i think we've got the bottom one well enough let's get this top one down just a smidge so my theory is that the monster hunters will run into the mine shrooms and then they'll turn around on their own toads and direwolves uh we've got some frost runes in the back so our assassins aren't going to be as easy to place but we can still try to match the position let's do that so let's get rid of toad food and let's get our assassins back oh past them there we go again that always bothers me now that they've changed the placement of everything okay sorry i'm just gonna do my little trick with my fingers to align them okay they need to be forward a bit more i think and yeah i think that looks good and i've got a decent vertical split so they should split between the two groups have I used all my army points? Yes. Is that good enough? I think that's good enough. Although, let's uh, ditch our toad food and get some ranged. I think I'd prefer that. There we go. I'm satisfied. Let's give it a go. All right. There goes the monster hunters. <laughs> Turn right around on their own toads and good night okay now there's uh some nice thorn guards for that monster hunter as it comes out of the mind control all right one more to go let's get her done Ooh, a devourer okay how are we gonna go about this okay we've got that molten armor up front uh, again, when you get that below 50% health, it starts doing an AoE pulse of fire damage around itself. We could put the shrooms in front of it, but that just turns it around for a little bit. And I don't know if its own troops are going to kill it fast enough. And then I'm going to be stuck with it again. Let's just get rid of those entirely. And let's do this trick. Let's see. Yeah, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this one here and this one here now that molten armor should catch the core blast of both of these but it will happen when these fire knights meet up with the bomb right next to it so that this bomb should take out this lower group and that bomb should take out the upper group and both bombs should take out the molten armor so that's uh two four four points resolved by two points now this 
cannoneer. Oh, assassins. Let's just use assassins on him. Ta-da. Okay, so that resolves him. Now, what am I doing next? I've got my drummer. I've got my thorn guards. They should, the thorn guards should have a clear shot, but they're going to take forever to get there. Let's get rid of the thorn guards. Let's put in a brute. It'll take him less time to get to the devourer. Okay, and, you know, the I don't want the hammer throwers to get close enough to get pounded, so let's use something with a little more range, and this is where we're going to remember, finally, that we've got the silly power stone on. Let's put, uh, oh, let's put the nice power stone on the higher level one. So that'll work. Replace. And other one. Let's go ahead and level that one up. We'll use the Corrupted Reach. It'll reduce the amount of damage that I put out, but at least they won't get stomped. Because so that's a pretty hefty um, range reduction on that aim power stone. Uh, have I used everything? Oh yeah, yeah, I've got, uh, yeah, I got it all covered. Okay. So we've accounted for everything. Let's give it a go. Poof. Okay, entire front line gone, cannoneer gone. And now I've got that brute to suck up the damage while my archers damage it down. All right, we did it. Congratulations, everybody, for making it this far. Hopefully you're following along and making some great progress. Really appreciate you all watching the channel, supporting me. Uh, please do all the like and subscribe action. That would be fantastic for me. I'd really appreciate it. And check out thecommandtable.com. We have tutorials, raid strats, and soon we will have merch and comics. Thank you for watching. We'll have some more comment for you, or comment, more content for you soon.